when you looked at his eyes, no matter where you are, if you were to go over there or go over here, his eyes are always looking right at you. And there's a subtleness to this kind of almost grin on his face. Capturing the beauty of the wild in her work, Anne London travels the globe for her inspiration, sketching endangered animals in their natural habitat. The sound of the charcoal on the page of my sketch pad apparently is very appealing to carnivores. Lions, tigers, and sacred species in Africa. The textures on the canvas conveying the emotions behind each piece. Is he fading away? Is this species going away? Is it going to be extinct? It seems to be this transparency where it's losing all it had. And are we afraid that all of a sudden there's going to be a blank canvas? They're in my booth and they're looking at something and they're having a moment. They're reconnecting with something that I think we're all born with. You know, this connection to what's wild, we have something within us. And it's that connection to art and conservation that Ron McGill says first attracted the Zoo Miami expert to her booth at the Coconut Grove Arts Festival. Gosh, I was just so enamored by her passion for wildlife, her true love of wildlife. It's not that she just wanted, she was painting it to, to, to further strengthen her connection to it and over and above that, and more importantly, to create connections for others. London founded the nonprofit Arts for Animals nearly 10 years ago, teaching Bushman children the importance of protecting their environment. Some of those kids that I have taught to draw have now started to remove snares from the wild, and they bring them to us to show us that they have remembered that lesson. And you know, that lesson is moving into their homes and into their tribe and into their village developing what McGill calls wildlife warriors for the future. It's one thing for me to, to raise money here and send it over there to help with conservation efforts in Africa. It's another thing for Anne to go to Africa, teach these kids to paint the animals, to care about the animals, and to then want to protect these animals in their own backyard. McGill owns many of Anne London's portraits, but perhaps the most wild of all, this gift she painted of the zoo's iconic silverback gorilla unknowingly on the eve of JJ's passing. At the risk of sounding overly emotional, they're, they're spiritual, they're very spiritual to me. That, that painting of JJ for me um, has left an indelible mark on me. It is something that consistently reminds me of a very unique relationship I was privileged to have. Um, and in a very special way, we'll always keep him alive.